way, there's an awards presentation at 12.30 uh, over on the other side of the athletes' competitive area. And uh, it's all, and get them headed. Really exciting about the lineup at one time. Really, year in and year out, it's just the best racing in the country. It's really good. Now. Yeah, Ohio Stone coverage for a second. Fun underway. And if it's anything like the one we just saw, oh my gosh, this is going to be one exciting day. And I do anticipate that, as a matter of fact. So in their first 20 strokes, Ohio State's at 44. And Michigan's at 37 and a half, 38. Oh, this is really, really close. As we pick up the crews now, about 350 meters in, Ohio State's at 39 strokes a minute. And Michigan's at 36 strokes a minute now. And Ohio State and Michigan, Michigan's got about one foot over Ohio State. Third place is Michigan State out here in lane number seven. And they're about a half a boat length behind Ohio State. And then in fourth place, you've got Indiana. And they're almost dead even now with Michigan State. And lane number three, Wisconsin now. So third place is almost dead even between Wisconsin, Indiana, and Michigan State. And you've got Minnesota and Iowa trailing. So as we go by the peninsula now, which is about 750 meters into the course, Michigan has about I would say a third of a boat length over Ohio State. Michigan's rowing at a really nice 34 and a half strokes a minute. And Ohio State's rowing at 35 and a half strokes a minute. So I'll tell you what. This is really incredibly good rowing for mostly first year rowers. And the coaches should be congratulated for the job that they've done teaching these young athletes how to row this well in just one year. And for my money, I always thought that the best teachers on the coaching staff should be the novice coaches. And these coaches have done a great job. So going through the 1,000 meter mark now, we're halfway down the course. And Michigan has still got about a third of a boat length, maybe, over Ohio State. And then it's about a half a boat length of open water back to third place. And that's almost dead even now between Wisconsin, Indiana, and Michigan State. Really nice job by all these crews. This is exciting racing. Now we've got Rutgers falling off the pace just a little bit. And Ohio State is really asserting themselves. They've got a special move here in the third 500. They seem to be moving back up on Michigan now. Michigan's lead is probably just about three or four feet over Ohio.
Ohio State. And Ohio State is inching away. Every single stroke, they're moving back just a little bit on Michigan. So get ready. Get ready in the finish line area there because uh, you're going to see a great last 250. So as we go into 500 meters to go, it's Michigan by about three or four feet over Ohio State, and then a boat length of open water back to Wisconsin in third place, but they're probably only about four or five feet ahead of Indiana. And then you've got Michigan State is in fifth place, Rutgers sixth, and it's too close to call between Iowa and Minnesota. So here we are, 300 meters to go, and Michigan is fighting off Ohio State, and Ohio State's prying everything out but the kitchen sink. And as we, as, as I say that, I call it dead even now, with 250 meters to go, dead even between Ohio State and Michigan. And I'm going to pass it over to Mandy Koval for the last 250 meters. So you got to love it. Bob is right. This race is very similar to the last race where Michigan pulled out early, Ohio State pulled back, and we've got a battle here in the last 200 meters. Ohio State's got some pop to their boat right now. Michigan's trying to hold them off. You can see it in their bodies, swinging back, accelerating the oar handles. But Ohio State has really made a big move here. They have picked it up. They seem to be in the lead from my vantage point right now, but it's a little hard to tell, and you've got to wait till they cross that finish line. Right now, Ohio State seems to be coming in. It's Ohio State, Michigan, and then we go back to Wisconsin and Indiana. Who's going to get third place? Wisconsin's making a big move here, big puddles, and they be eke it out over Indiana. They get third place. In comes Michigan State charging across the line. Rutgers is holding off the Hawkeyes. You got Rutgers in sixth place, the Hawkeyes in seventh, and Minnesota bumping it up for the finish line. Ending the race here, the Novice 8. Again, another fine race here by the women here at the Big Tens. Michigan, Ohio State battling it out, and then that third place battle. Great job, great conditions.